Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm essentially going to give you the overview in terms of how to prepare for the OSCP so that you can best prepare so that you don't have to waste time and so that you can just crush it, the OCP, because that's literally all that I want. That's what Hack Academy is about. That's what this YouTube channel is about. That's the main focus that we have. It's just of people that want to take the OCP or a certification that's very similar, something like the CPTS, that I can help and serve them and essentially just allow people to crush it, right? Especially considering how costly exam retakes can be for like the OCP. It's around $250. But obviously it's an extremely valuable certification and obviously it helps people a lot in getting the jobs that they actually want and it's just a great challenge and you will learn a lot again so obviously it's worth it but the main thing we're just going to start off simply with is just the exam structure right you start off with the initial set of credentials and then there is 60 points for the standalones right 10 points for initial access 10 points for privilege escalation 20 times 3 is 60 right uh, and for AD, you can have 40 points total, right? So the total point is 100, and you just need 7 to pass, right? So those are the basics. Here are some different scenarios you can essentially pass the OCP, right? But it doesn't necessarily change the strategy, because that's what this video is mainly about, right? The strategy in terms of how to prepare. Um, obviously, I have the OCP, and I want people to crush it. And again, not have to waste a lot of money, right? So if you go right here, OFSEC does have some exam preparation. I will leave all of these resources down below again. Um, so let's continue. Um, one thing that I want to mention that's very, very, very important again, okay? one thing that you cannot forget to do once you get the access to the labs of OPSEC, right? The OCP labs, when you've bought the, the bundle in the course of OCP, is to do these, right? You have to do this because most of the practice that you will get online when it comes to Active Directory. Now, granted, there are some chains Something like um, something like the Von Lab. Those have some chains. In my opinion, they are the most reflective of OCP. But I'm not scuffing at all. You should definitely do it if you want more reps, right? Um, and Von Lab is also more role, so I'm definitely not saying anything negative whatsoever. I'm just being honest, right? I'm just giving you my general thoughts. For the OCP, the best prep for the Active Directory chain specifically is the Challenge Labs OCP A, B, and C that you can get inside of the their lamps. Okay, so definitely do them. Uh, we have made something custom ourselves uh, with the only purpose of representing the OCP as much as possible. And we are building Active Directory chains just for the purpose inside of the OCP course so that people can get more practice. Because let's be honest, most of the OCP uh, Active Directory uh, training out there is standalone CTFs. So when it comes to attacks like uh, relaying with hashes, it's typically not as relevant. When it comes to post exploitation lateral movement, it's typically not that relevant, right? So very crucial aspects to be able to pass the exam won't necessarily be given to you and you won't necessarily be able to practice conveniently, even though it's so important, right? To, to be able to crush the OCP. So that's, that's one of the things that we're doing that I think will massively help. Um, but yeah, the main thing is just definitely be sure to do this, right? The second thing, uh, I'm sure you've all heard of this, the NetSec Trophy and the Lenku Sonagi, right? Uh, for general for general practice and general volume, it's really, really, really good, okay? Um, the main thing, now, no, no, nothing is going to be perfect, right? In terms of like, it's impossible to cover every single technique possible that could come because um, you don't know what's going to come and no one can obviously spoil it, right? Obviously have the OCP, but each exam is different and you can't spoil the exam. So you have to just prepare for what they've outlined can come. And I highly suggest that you look at the OCP syllabus. I highly recommend that you look out for this custom resource that we've made right here. Okay. The main purpose of it is just to cover a bunch of different attacks and the resources that you can go to, right? That covers specifically it, right? So for instance, here, uh, it's timestamped exactly when I'm showing a different technique, right? And it covers this reactive directory, initial access, pivoting, windows, and Linux privilege escalation, right? So just a bunch of different attacks. Uh, this is one of the resources that you will get inside of the, the OCP course that we made, right? Just wanted to mention that because that can be very, very useful. Okay, but I definitely suggest if you're just getting started to just use these resources, Metsec like Focus and Lenku Sonagi, and just make sure that it's well-rounded in terms of the practice, right? So if you're doing a lot of Linux standalones, huh? but you're completely neglecting, neglecting Windows standalones, 
then I definitely re recommend you do that. Or if you notice that you're very weak on Active Directory, right, then definitely just make sure that it's well balanced, okay? Uh, and as you get more practice over time, you will notice that you're very weak in one area, and then that's where you focus, right? But again, as I mentioned earlier, there are things that we know will come, okay? So if you go back to this, the standalones, you know there will be some form of initial access and you know there will be some form of privilege escalation, right? Um, for Active Directory as well, you know 100% guaranteed it will come. So you're obviously not going to study something that's irrelevant, like cloud, for instance, right? This is obvious. Or attacks that cannot lead to getting an actual shell, right? Um, there are attacks that can like indirectly do it, like XSS, where you can do cookie theft, so you maybe get access to like an admin session and then you can get access to an admin panel and from there it can be an RCE that's authenticated. There are some possible chains like this that could come. Um, but yeah, I definitely suggest that you go through this one right here. It will cover most of what you need to cover. And I also recommend that you essentially look at the OCP syllabus right here. Um, and then you should read through right here and then be aware that I won't say that necessarily everything of this could come, but definitely just go and read through it and read through this, right? And just make sure that there's not something obvious that you haven't prepared for as you're doing random machines on the Inkusanagi, etc., that you get thrown off by, okay? So this is very, very important. Do a lot of balanced different rooms. I would also advise to not be shying away from trying out Proving Grounds because it's made by Offsec, some you may or may not be able to get some insight into how they create the rooms, right? And obviously do their labs when you get access, right? So, but if you want to simplify things a lot more, because I can understand that it's confusing and maybe studying alone is difficult and you kind of just overwhelmed, right? That is one of the main reasons why we essentially made this course, right? It's over 24 hours long. And if you follow this roadmap, it looks very, very simple, but all of these are hyperlinks, right? That is leading to uh, sections of the course. Um, we have our custom active directory chains right there. You cannot get access to anywhere else. And again, they're made with the only intention of being as accurate to OSUP as possible. And I will make more and more and more all the time because I just noticed there is such a gap in the specific area. People want more active directory experience when it comes to active directory chains specifically because that's very, very different to do standalone machines. And that's why we're building this out and people have been really, really, really enjoying it. Okay, so we have over 300 members as of now, but just follow this. Literally, all of these hyperlinks right here, go through them. Here is the checklist that I mentioned earlier. Okay, um, the, essentially the main goal of it is to become uh, either basic competence or proficient, right? And I cannot change it now because I haven't made a copy. But all you do is just that you make a copy right here and then you can change this to proficient or basic competence and again you just want to make sure that nothing surprises you right you want all of this and all of the things mentioned in all of the different sections uh, you don't want to be clueless on any of them so that's very very important that's one of the action steps that's inside the course right there's action steps for ad for privacy keep tunneling initial access and there's also a lot of useful information when it comes to the exam and reporting again we cover all of it and all you do is just click off the checkboxes that like cannot show you all of this in the course, right? But you can try it for free for a day. So you don't have to pay anything at all if you don't like it. So that's why it's made like it is. And again, it covers everything. So if you want to join, just click the WAP link down below. And I cannot wait to see you inside. Have an awesome day and best of luck on your OSAP journey.